What's up, YouTube? So today we're in Antioquia in Colombia, up in the highlands, and we're in the northern Andes Mountains with my friend Andreas. He's a local botanist and uh, works in the nature here. So we're just checking out this dry shrubland area and all the cool stuff that's inside of it. What is this called again? Eh, Romero de Monte. El Romero de Monte. This stuff smells just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's almost like a rosemary. Mm -hmm. Like rosemary thyme or something. This is so special, man. I love this place. Yeah, this is like the same water plant. What was this one called again? Uh, Papelantus. Papelantus. This flower is really cool looking. Look at that. Just look at the way this place is set up. You can see where they cleared out a lot of the shrubland to do potato farming and cattle raising. Papelantus. Some people say that the water of this plant, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's healthier. You know, the como curativa. Oh, this water that yeah. is in the middle, yeah. This keeps waters, so you can drink. Every from plant it. here keeps water. Most because this place is so threatened for for the crops, for the dairy cattle, mm -hmm. and have this island in this place. It's like the original landscape. Yeah. Wow. In Hawaii, we have something like this too. In the mountains, they section it off because. They have pigs that come and they eat all the roots of the natural uh, Hawaiian plants. And then they have all the invasive plants that come too. So it makes it like a... Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and do people eat this? No, we don't eat this. I, I don't know if, if you can eat it. Wow. This smells so good. It's almost like sage or something. It's like... You can make perfume with it. Yeah. And apparently these are really endangered plants up here because of all the cattle farming. This is one. Wow, this smells so good. This is so one of good. the reasons why the Andes is so special. These plants grow one centimeter for per year. So this one got to be like 10 years yeah. old, 15 years they, old. They are like old, like, 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 like the people wise, almost. like the <laughs> yeah. wise plants of this ecosystem. Yeah, I was looking at it on the drive up here, and I'm like, I want to try this. Let me see. More red, yeah? Mm-hmm. The little one. Let me try one from the top. The birds share this plant with us. It's a little bitter. Let me try this. Don't eat a lot, because it's a little bitter. Mm. And there's energy. another toxic toxic uh, tree mm -hmm. that we call it here it's it's called toxicodendrum striatum and okay. the plant that you use against the effects of the toxicodendrum is this this wow. so what it's uh, exactly for i mean he it, says there's a, a toxic tree that if you, i know oh, but okay. what, what it's uh, if you touch it no if i know i mean for medication you said they can make it yeah good. this is the medication to treat what learning about all types of new plants out here and this is such a cool place so i really want to find is these um native blueberries that grow up here and andreas is taking us to go find some so we can find these blueberries we'll be so stoked so this is the local blueberry up here, yeah? Is it related to blueberry or is it its yeah, own? It's, it's, but it, they call it, we call it here neotropical blueberries. So we're on the side of the road right now. And look at this. I don't know what kind of mushroom right this is. The, the one you touch, it's eatable? No. Oh. But you look at this. So this is the Amanita mushroom right here. And this is the one that's in all those fairy tales and stuff. And these are psychedelic and they'll make you trip out really hard. And then over here, I'm not sure what this is. If you don't prepare it before, Amanita kills you. Yeah. It's something with water and... There's a way the, the uh -huh. people in um, Europe, they used to do this one. In Yarumaltu. Oh, in Yarumaltu, <laughs> nice. No, Kyuda. Don't grab the fence, Dad. There's a no, no, electrical no. shirt. Mushroom too? No, it's the berries. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> is this regular blackberry? Or what do you what do you call these? Yeah, it's, it's mora? Como, sí, mora. De la, pero de los rastrojos, o sea, criollita nativa. Wow. I think this is a budding amanita right here. 
and this one will definitely kill you if you're not careful. Oh, and these are the edible flowers that he was talking about. And here, another, another amanita. Only drop. Let's make... Yeah, get a piece. You can eat it. I don't. Mm. I love it, this flower. I love it. Good? It's flacilina. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at the clay in this. Uh, this is so and good. And this whole is And this whole soil. We're on a farm, we're on Fernay's farm. He grows passion fruit, lily koi's, and he exports them to Belgium from here in Colombia. And also he's known for his cilantro. Look at this terrace farming they got going on over here for the lily koi. If I sound out of breath, it's because of the altitude right now, we're about 5,000 5, feet up in the air. Take care with this bridge. In the Northern Andes. Okay. Vamos a lavarlas yeah. allí. Uh, yeah. Vamos a lavarlas. The one I was talking about. Uh, Golupa. Yeah, Golupa. The passion fruit. Yeah. Passion fruit. <laughs> passion fruit. The flower is really good too. Some people make a tea out of it. Ah, oh, tea. Hacen té con el con la flor. Con la flor fer. Pasa es que el maracuyá, la granadilla y la Golupa son pasiflores. That's what Fernet export yeah. to Europe. Thank you. <laughs> wow, look at all this passion fruit flower. Wow. Look at the flowers. So, we're up here in the mountains. Oh, there's a freaking hawk. Wow, that might have been an eagle, I'm not sure. A lot of birds of prey. There's over like five to six different types of eagles up here. Um, we're in Antigua, which is a state here in Colombia. And look at all this. The city over there is Yarmal. That's where we're staying. Right now we're on our friend Fernand's farm and we're just doing a tour of his passion fruit farm. He grows strawberries, passion fruit. And we're gonna check out this forest over here. So this is a, uh, it's a type of wood ear mushroom because you can see it looks like an ear from a pig. Oh. They call it in Hawaii the ear mushroom. Ear mushroom. Doesn't it look like you put it right here? Yeah. Like the ear. Is it not edible? This one? No, I don't think so. It looks, it smells like, it should be edible, but no, I wouldn't eat it just because I'm not 100% sure. And if you digest something like that, you can have such a bad stomach problem <laughs> or die. <laughs> but see like this, this is that same, I gotta freaking find out what this is. This is the white woodier mushroom and feel that this, see how much this one feels this better. This is different? No, it's a younger version. Oh. It feels more better, but mm. this is a nice one, but it's so slimy. Wow, cool! I've in never Hawaii, seen... you don't eat this one. I eat one similar and of the same family, but it's a brown one, and I know that one so good, so I eat it all the time. Okay. So I'm not worried. So over here, you got some thimbleberry. Look at that! This is a nice, healthy thimbleberry bush. And in Hawaii, we have the same exact berry, which is really cool because we're all the way in the northern Andes. And if you look in the back, there's ape, which is just like the one in Hawaii, but way bigger, like huge apes. Try a couple pieces of this. This is a little thing, migratory. Some of these from Canada. Oh, it's different. It's more sweet. Wow. 
Santa Barbara waterfall. Starving. Where did you come from? <laughs> so right here are mountain grapes. They have a Spanish name for them, but I'm not good at saying them. I'm gonna try to grab. Let's see. So he was saying that people love these and they attract hummingbirds. And so this is uh, mountain grapes. And look at this stream, amazing. And it's all over the place. People make wine out of it, they make marmalade. This is the plan for today. Horse, mule, two dogs, and the family, and Andreas, and some vultures. Flower. A lot of weird spiders in the way, but maybe we can get one. Yeah. Vietnamese cilantro. <laughs> when they are kids, mm -hmm. they all try it all the time. Mm. So we're here in the Rosario Valley, and this is some of the cacao they have. I tried it earlier with a uh, chocolate milk, uh, coco y leche, <laughs> that this lady made me. It was so good. And look at the color on these uh, cacaos. The ones in Hawaii, I noticed they're more orange. These ones are a nice maroon color. And wow, look at that. Look at this rotten one right here. I just found here in the woods what I was looking for. And wow, look at that. That is a mushroom stick right here. Comido. Muy rico. Look at these. And this is a perfect one. Wow. Okay, so these ones we're gonna definitely take for tomorrow. So this is nice. This is what I'm talking about, Andres. And look at how much babies there are in this. So I'm gonna leave this stick here. And if they wanna come back and get some more in a week, there'll be a lot more like this. Wow, okay. And some bigger ones right here. See, this is a perfect one right here. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. This one, it's no. <laughs> it's other one. It's the same one, but it's it's too close to the ground, so it started to de brown. decay. Yeah, Cafés. you want it brown. Yeah. No, but él está diciendo que los más cafés son los perfectos porque eso está pegado al suelo y se pudre. Slugs, the slug fruit. So this is the cacao, cacao fruit. This is the chocolate before it's been um, fermented, and it. Hmm. It tastes like uh, peaches or something. I love it. This is one of the best flavors mm -hmm. in the world. It's the same one, like tun red. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we descended down the canyon and now we're like getting to the base of the, the area. There's a little river over here and we're gonna go check out a waterfall. Looks pretty sick. How's this weird little palm fruit? So this is an Andean palm, uh, one of the different types of palms that grow here. and. It honestly kind of looks similar to like a ginger or heliconia, like torch ginger makes these kinds of things. I just cracked one open and it just tastes and smells a little bit like lemons, but also kind of sketchy it smells like, so I'm not too interested in eating it, but wow, so interesting. I'm sure with a little research I could find out if it really was edible or not, but it's still really interesting. So this is the main river that goes through the Rosario Valley here in Yaramul. 
This has been a sick hike. I'm doing it with my dad and some friends. This isn't like a real guided tour. They're trying to become more like an ecological zone instead of relying so much on like cattle farming and um, potato, coconut kind of stuff. Start getting into the ecological uh, tourism. So this is like a test run for that, which is awesome. This boat make this big noise. <laughs> How much water of this goes to Medellin? This this water don't go to Medellin. This water goes to the Cauca River. Okay. This is one of the most important rivers of the country. Wow. 